Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed World Gaming and welcome to a brand new day, a brand new episode from Total War 1212 AD mod. And last time we took over Ansira, we have to sit still for a while now because first of all we, we have the town of Sinope over here, we need to wait four more turns at least to get some defenses on it. At this point we are a bit exposed, like any army could just come in and start besieging and it might even, they might even have a chance if they push smart enough with two armies on this side and on this side to stop us from reinforcing and from taking care of a siege, thus losing a city in the process. At the same time public order is not too great, but fortunately for us Sinope has a good influence as far as religion goes to be orthodox which is our state religion and thus will make it a, ho a whole lot more stable than normal. For on Ansira though, most of our religion is Sunni Islam. It is going down right now, but it will take some work. Our walls are 96% at 96%. The, the minimum number of breaches, that means broken walls, is 1%. We just took this city over, so if anyone were to attack us now, we wouldn't be able to repair the the wall anymore, so we would have an opening for them to just assault us and get us uh, get to fighting us without even having to break down a gate or anything else. So the br breaks we left in the walls are still there. Overall, there's nothing special that I want to do right now. If I take a look around here, like I could go, let's see, what is our sanitation? We have a lot of sanitation here. And I'm thinking about adding like four more public order, even though we're going to take some penalties from the food. I think that it will compensate by the extra four to public order. And that is about it. I'm not planning to construct anything else for this turn. Uh, can I start recruiting? Oh, good thing is that we can start recruiting some troops over here. And we might even go ahead and do that. Let's see, like, what can we recruit? Oh, apparently, like, six Moldavian warriors. They're quite cheap for the moment. Mm, let's see, what does it cost? Mm. These are nobles, so we can get ourselves like four of these archers, two boyers, and the rest will be Moshen as, as per normal, like should we do like something like this? Sounds pretty good, probably an extra unit of boyer could be good or two, like have, especially in this part of the world. Let's see, let's get the money back. Okay, we have no more people to recruit them. But I feel like in this part of the world, with all of these hordes, with all of this cavalry, we could use some cavalry of our own. So we'll stay on that. Let's move our spies and try to scout out these regions. Okay, plenty of glass here. I'm not sure I want too much glass. Who will I be declaring war on to next? Aquinlu, it's... They're not doing really well. And that is totally fine by me. Probably we'll go with the Principality of Antioch. We'll go to war with them afterwards. And then go down here towards Baghdad and the... Abbasid Caliphate because I want Basra for the spices. That's what I'll probably do. Really depends on how things go. Okay, let's see. In Georgia, we saw it last time, it only had some wine. Oh, and we increased. Yeah, this is good. So we increased. The, the level, I guess we could go with the Orthodox Church here and thus be able to recruit a priest so we can put into, into these regions. 
Like, we get an extra agent right now. But the more important thing is that we now have space for a one more for one more governor. And this guy is a governor, if I remember correctly. Yeah, plus two to state religion. So, Burr loyal. And personal influence, okay. I am actually thinking of adding him here in Ansira. I believe it will help a lot with stabilizing the region. Let's see. Is this this is the region of Ankara? Okay. And so we'll find Ankara first. Throw this guy in. It doesn't cost us anything because he is part of our family. I will be providing him with what? State religion could be great. I don't have a plus 5 to public order, so I guess I'll go with the religion first. Then we're gonna pick sanitation. And finally we'll take some authority just to get that extra public order. Okay, and then we need we need one more. Let's see, where is a problem? I, I guess this region is a problem. This one is one as well, but it seems definitely more stable than this one. So what I'll do is that I'll throw a governor in here, in Silesia. Let's see. No one from our family is old enough for that. Then I'm going here. Guy is a patron. Burvu in Silesia. Okay. And what should I add to him? Growth could be good. I guess we'll start with that because I am going to give him a few items just to stabilize the region. Let's see, where was the plus three to public order? Here it was. Don't care for influence, don't care for anything else but that. And I guess we need to pick over here as well, an edict. Let's go like this. We settle tribes, do the same thing, all over. Well, with all this in mind, let's end the turn. Nope. No. Everybody wants alliances and defensive alliance and stuff like that, but the problem is, one, if the war starts between these factions, we'll be breaking a lot of deals. And I don't think that is necessary to do. Okay, Felicia has died. Yorgu has died as well. He was a governor in Transylvania. Spread your religious to the majority of the region in Zagreb. Oh, okay, so this is not anymore. Crusade for Tunis. And now we're at minus 10. Why? Minus 4 from characters. Minus 4 from taxes. Difficulty level. Religious differences and political situation. No, a political situation because we are here at respectable. Well, yeah, need to move the army over here. It's not ideal, but we have to do this for a while. Over here in the north, we have a lot of food. Don't know about squalor yet, but I'm gonna go with the next level of glass workshop or 
No, I, our public order is not great. We're not, we're not going to do that just yet. Let's see, maybe another governor over here. Okay, let's pick the youngest of them all and I'm going to throw him in Transylvania. Okay. Let's see, we're going to go with growth again. And I will add to you, we're going to do the same thing, add some public order and I think that is going to be about it for now. Macedonia has an extra population. Okay, Orthodox Christianity is going up. We have Olive Press. This one, Religious State. Okay. This we do not need anymore, I feel. So instead of the large workshop, which doesn't offer us anything, we could throw in a different building. How about food? We're at 85 food. You know what? I can throw in here a school. After that, like, could I build another church? I cannot. And that is very unfortunate. But I guess we'll go with one of these and I'll build a school and then we'll see. It's very problematic because I can't go this way just yet. Maybe once we do some research... Where was it? Somewhere around here. This one with the religious influence plus one to state religion or this one cultural integration or national identity. Like, once we get all of these, we'll be able to grow our markets as well. But for now, we can't really do that. Oh, I'm really itching for some wars around here as well. Okay, with you, I guess we, we need to keep going here. We have food. The problem with this is that it doesn't provide us with public order. And over here, yeah, we're we're still bleeding public order. We need probably more armies. That sounds like the right thing to do. Okay, we're at 45 food. We'll have more food going forward. And thus, we're going to make an Orthodox Church here. I am going to convert this to a castle. A large workshop. We're going to upgrade this one as well. A silk trader. Silk weaver. I'm not sure that this needs to be changed, but let's demolish the building just in case and see if we can. Or does it matter? No, I guess we can go and upgrade it like this. A mosque? We don't have the money anymore. Or the research, actually. Uh, where are we at? This fertility is good. Iconography, definitely not. An Orthodox Basilica could be good for public order. This one will also offer us some sanitation. I guess I'll do the monastery first. And that is going to be it for now. Let's scout on ahead. Let's see where things are at. They've got three armies. Our walls, our walls are repaired at least. Most of our troops are replenished now. I think what I need to do is start thinking about bringing two more armies. Like, I could recruit another army here in Sinope. We can't recruit any troops just yet. 
but it should work. We'll have another army we have here. What are these? Like Crimean? Yeah, Crimean cannot. We have this army staying in the middle of the region. We have one army to the south. Okay. Yeah, public order around here is not great. Let's try to go in a force march. Like, look at the chevrons on these troops. Should probably bring them around. Yeah. We need military presence in most of these regions. And I need... To move these armies around as well. Yeah, I need to make some patrols left and right. Buildings constructed. An inn in Silesia. Okay, that's why this region stabilized. A yarn hut. Fields in Zagreb. More fields. Okay. Then that leaves with our spies. And with you, let's see. Over here. I am done for now. There's some iron in Georgia. What's their relations with the rest of the world? The Kingdom of Georgia has a defensive. No, this is military allies with the Kingdom of Silesia, which is here, the Empire of Trebizond, and the Principality of Antioch. Okay. So, not an easy decision to go to war with them. Okay, the Teutonic Order probably has a new leader or something, because it seems like they've started having better relations with the rest of Europe. And so, at this point, let's start trading. And now, end the turn. As long as our strength remains. Nope. We are a proud. I am going to check now after the ending of the turn. I'm going to check to see what is the Latin Empire like. What's their situation? I mean, uh, in sense of the events, military or defensive allies, I am thinking that we might be going to war with them. Once we have enough power in, in Anatolia, then we might just box them in. Let's see. What's your situation like? The Republic of Venice. The Republic of Venice likes us too. We have an army here, so we might use this opportunity to actually jump on them if they join the war. Interesting. There's an Empire of Nicaea here. Okay, nobody likes them. And that's it. Yeah, they're, they're not that liked, actually, in Europe. Austria likes them. That's about it. And let us be honored by your attendance. Yeah, we're gonna break this non-aggression pact. It's not gonna ruin our relations. Oh, well, it is going to ruin it by quite a bit. But it's in preparation for a future conflict. Okay. Definitely need to bring another army. And let's see. Someone young would like. Or... Someone who could give us plus one to experience. I think I like that more. He got recruited over the river, so it's gonna take us another turn to get there. It's gonna take us two more turns to recruit. Over here, I am going to try... Let's try to assassinate the weaker one. Of course, didn't work. My sword is yours. 
Let's see, what can we keep doing? I could make more problems for them, like give them minus four to public order, or let's see, what increases the chance of success? This is campaign movement, this is critical success chance. Okay, so authority is what I need. Which is this. What are the chances that we get to level 4? Uh, not that much. I guess I'll just do this. For now. They're recruiting. Let's start the fire. Try to put our agents to work. Even though they're really bad. A large workshop demolition. Yeah, we're gonna go one more level into that. The platea has been constructed in Hungary. And right now, I, I wanted to build a school. Because we do have the food. But with a minus six to public order at this point. I think what we might have to do is actually go ahead and add a tavern. Yeah. If people are unhappy, there's no point in building schools, right? Okay, well, bodyguard, house cat, okay, nothing impressive. Um. So let's see, with you, I'm gonna explore this side. Do we have bronze? Or copper? Yes, we do. At your service. At your command. With this army, level up. We have authority, we have cunning. There's not a whole lot we can do here. Except for maybe going this way. But we will need one, two more. Uh, yeah, that, that is going to be hard to obtain. So maybe I'll just throw in some stats. And that is going to be it. Mm, I want to see, finally, before ending the turn again. Let's see, on public order. This is the worst. This is the second worst. Okay, and we have a problem here now. Yeah, I'll move the army further in. Because this area is okay-ish. Definitely much better than this one. And I'm gonna pick campaign movement range. And we might have to move this army further north. Well, with that in mind, three more turns for advanced castle architecture, until then, and turn, governor, plus four to public order, plus four to public order, great. Still not enough, but great. A non-aggression pack? No, I will not accept. Ooh. Yep, as I said. 
I thought that they had to besiege it. And because we didn't have this guy inside, they just took it over. And they're probably getting defenses now as well. Rats. Right? Yeah, some defenses. Nothing impressive. I mean, this will be easy. I'm just gonna do this. But it's a waste of the money we've invested and stuff. Uh, yeah, repair, repair, and we have to start converting this all over again into the castle. I am going to plan this general here, at least for one turn. Uh, you know what? Let's stop taxing these provinces. It's not a huge difference. It definitely doesn't make a huge difference on our, our economy, but it's going to be fine. Like that, or... Ooh! A critical success on that. So his four-star general has died directly. Let's start some fires. Yep, that is going to create some problems with public order. I want... Okay, I need from you some authority going forward. But I will increase this with the start fire ability and then I'll take some cunning. And that's it for now. We're gonna create some problems for them. We lost some grain, but we gained it back. Territorial disputes. Okay. An Orthodox monastery here. That's good. A Platea in Salonique. And here, I will need to add another one. What should I start with? I guess I'll start with the school. And then I'll come over here to add another one, another Platea, and then we'll throw in probably a tavern. Trades gain loyal and religious state influence. Nice. Il de Gizid Atabaget Yeah, I've I've never heard of this one. At least maybe not not in English. Maybe I've heard it in Romanian, but I don't know exactly what that faction is. Uh, let's see. Corruption spread religion, that's something we want. And we'll give him some more authority. This situation is mostly stabilized. I feel like I should bring him to where there are bigger problems. Like I could bring him over to Tergoviste. And we can work on this. Here we are stabilizing the region with this guy, with the military. And I think I can bring the priest over to the north. And once again, we'll sit on our money. I think that is the case. Let's see. Wait. You. I can give you some strength. Charge bonus plus 10% for cavalry. Missile attack rate plus 10% for cavalry units, sure. And let's put some armor on you. I guess that's about it. Okay, Edict over here. Yeah, we'll go with Settled Tribes. And in Eastern Malaysia. 
Did we not? Oh, we did not have a governor in Sinope, so. Yeah, pretty soon I think Constantinople is going to fall and probably will do it, as I said earlier, at the same time as taking over Venice if they want to join in the war. That is going to create some frictions with the rest of Europe, probably. Oh, okay. So now they have a bunch of armies. Well, well they move a few away. Because they are in war. Okay. Yeah, we really have to see what we do here. What I'll do is that I'll move this general here, move you back, put you in here. Yeah, you're gonna have to start reconstructing this. Uh, we're going with the next level of food. And Orthodox Church, as we said earlier, in here at least we are at zero. It's gonna take us more time to convert everything. Like, look at that, minus 16 from religious differences. And that is a lot. Food, definitely going for grain first, for wheat first. And as far as the noble estate, well, we go this way with a boyar's palace. Library, I don't think it's going to be a good idea to add it here. Meat market could be. I think tavern is the better choice. A gibbet here in the middle of everything is definitely better. Right? What is our corruption like? The corruption is zero yet because we don't tax, but we'll be at minus 22%. Getting this public order and stuff is going to be helpful. To in the end, yeah, we stayed with the workshop. To grow it to the next level but that is going to take a while in Kiev finally we have the aqueduct At your command. with you let's go with another level 2 experience of the cavalry and then we'll go with authority the thing is now that we recruit our cavalry we will have two chevrons already on our nobleman nice yeah, they, this will work pretty nice. Then we have an inn in Pex. Do I want to go further? I think I might just do that. Fishing port in Bilgorod. Great. I'm going to move this army back. And I think that is about it for this episode. So we're going to end it on this note. Going forward, we're going to try to just to finish building these castles here, have the area stable and try to jump on the opportunity wherever we see it. There's a, there are a lot of soldiers here, so we can't just directly attack this city. Yeah, definitely a lot of soldiers. We'll have to bait them out or something, or wait until they move away. Or have two armies that we can use one to, for example, besiege this area and keep them distracted, while this one goes and take over the others, takes over the other city. That is probably more likely, but we'll have to see. Now, until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a wonderful day, everyone.